Let's do some politics now, and uh, we'll be talking about the NDC's election over the weekend. We've got uh, the uh, or national organizer, Kofi Adams, on the line. But first, uh, the leadership of the Opposition National Democratic Congress says the lack of appropriate voting centers to accommodate the huge numbers was responsible for the difficulties the party encountered during its regional elections. The elections which were held last Saturday simultaneously in all 10 regions were beset with long queues and extended hours of voting, which nearly marred the exercise. Some key personalities also suffered heavy defeats. Here are highlights of the polls. Some big names and former ministers under the Eswa John Mahama government suffered losses. Former Transport Minister Jifa Tivo was left to lick her wounds after she lost her bid to lead the party in the voter region to the incumbent John Japon. In the Ashanti region, former Deputy Minister Joseph Yamin's massive campaign to annex the seat was unsuccessful as he lost by 88 votes to Andrews Augustus Nanakwasi. The same fate befell former Central Regional Minister Aquinas Nasteria Kansa. In the Greater Accra region, Joseph Adekoka was retained as he beat three-time contender Daniel Amate and former Adentan MP Emmanuel Ashimo. A Pais regional chairman, Alhaji Bonaba Mumuni, was also retained after he fended off competition from former information minister John Tia Akolgo and one other. Well, the train of regional chairmen who were successful again at the poll excludes that of the eastern region's Bismarck Terrier Boateng as he trailed behind John Oswa Mankra, popularly known as Joak. The most intriguing of all the results is perhaps that of the western region where the immediate past chairman Nana Kojo Toku returned to recapture the seat he once occupied from his successor Nana Toku collapsed out of shock in 2014 after he lost the seat to Big Edu. The only outstanding election is a runoff expected between two Thai contenders for the secretary position in the central region. Well, the national organizer of the party, Kofi Adams, says uh, the party is devising innovative ways to ensure the difficulties encountered during the polls are not repeated. He joins me on the phone. Good morning, sir. Thanks for your time. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Adams, before we go into these innovative ways that you talk about, there was an unfortunate incident in the eastern region where some of your uh, delegates were involved in an accident. Uh, have you been able to reach those who are injured, and how are they doing? Yeah, my uh, national vice chairman, Honorable Samuel Okuampoko, who represented the party in the Eastern region, has been on top of that issue. We would be briefing us today so that if there are any other arrangements mm -hmm. that we need to put in place on national level, that the region should know we will be doing so. Mm -hmm. But as we speak now, uh, the situation is stable. Well, Mr. Adams, let's now come to the election proper because across the country we saw, for example, uh, serious delays in the start of the polls. In, in some centers, uh, it, voting started as late as 5 p.m., uh, an hour to when it was expected to end. Uh, you, you say that there were issues with the voting centers. Is it that you didn't do your uh, scouting probably uh, ahead of the elections? First and foremost, in conferences, there's no end time to voting. Voting is really not expected to end at any time. We don't think that voting should end at this time or that time when we go for conferences because it depends on, one, the number of voting centers and the number of persons and how fast each delegate will cast his or her ballot. So we really do not have the time that uh, is supposed to end. We do have when expected to start. There were delay in starting because delegates arrived very late. And you know that the larger the number, the higher the the, uh, the number that is needed to form a quorum. And so if you are dealing with numbers in the thousand, then you expect quite a higher number to form a quorum. If the number is 900, you expect at least 300 to form a quorum. And getting 300 for start of conference was uh, difficult in most of the venues. So starting was a bit late. That was what dragged the uh, conference deep into, into the night. But all in all, we have gone through the process, we have learned some lessons, and we will see what kind of amendments we have to do to our constitution to make sure that 
voting for executives at regional and national level will be decentralized. So you don't have to converge like this. That's for purposes of electing officers again. Uh, uh, Mr. Adams, now let's talk about uh, some bit of specifics because in the Ashanti region uh, there was a bit of chaos. Uh, some young men uh, came around in shirts with the inscription, the Hawks, and they were stoutly built men. And we were told by our reporters that it took uh, the police some time to, to, to restore calm. Are you aware of that incident and uh, what, what is the party doing about that? I have read also about this from the social media. We have instructed that a report be submitted to us as far as that conference is concerned. Our general secretary was expected to be there. The national vice chairperson, uh, Madame Bessimul Dittrisu, who is aspiring for national chairperson, Vida uh, Adai and Tukukwani were all expected to be there. So they will submit a written report. And if there are any issues that need further investigation and for which we need to uh, punish persons for doing any wrong. We will do so. Hello, Ms. Adams. Hello. Hello, yes. Uh, we missed uh, the last uh, part of your... Of your... What, what I was... What I was uh, we had assigned national officers to all things, and we will be meeting today to receive reports. So you were asking me whether that has come to my attention, mm. and I said... I read it also from the social media, but our representative said yes to bring his report. So we will know whether truly this is true or it's just a figment of somebody's imagination. And okay. it's a matter that we should just ignore. So mm -hmm. it is the report that will be submitted by our representative uh, that will determine the weight we put on such report. All right, uh, Mr. Mr. Adams, we also saw some, um, you may want to call it subtle campaigning ahead of your uh, national delegates conference where, for, for example, we saw uh, flag bearer hopefuls, uh, Joshua Alabi uh, at the Great Accra uh, elections. We saw uh, Joyce Bar Mokhtari who represented former President Mahama in the northern region. And in the Bunua Hafu region, we were told by our reporter there that there was some sort of massive support or campaign uh, for former President John Mahama because everybody who uh, took the stage will mention his name and talk about the fact that they needed to support him. Uh, do you condone such things during uh, events like this? Of course, we have open opportunity for people interested in the flag that are to put themselves up. So there's absolutely nothing barring anyone who feels like uh, I want to go and exercise that opportunity that party executives are gathering and so to my feet. So nothing stops them from doing their speech except that whatever you do, you must do it in such a way that it doesn't matter the main event. And so, so far, I haven't received any report as national organizer that any of these uh, aspirants, whether for national executive position or flag bearers, did something on tour at the conference now, that they did anything that mark the process and the unity that we expected. And so to that extent, I say then everybody has comported himself or herself well. Mm. Uh, but but uh, let's talk about your party moving on. What's the next, uh, quote-unquote, biggest thing for you with regards to uh, looking at the 2020 elections? The next bigger thing is the election of the ultimate executive, which is the national executive at the National Congress. Okay. We have open nominations. We have big forms. I expect that. By Wednesday, the 5th of September, everybody who picked from and still wants to progress to the next level would have faced his or her findings and submitted his or her forms that would have been completed. Then we will go through the forms and test them and find out whether they qualify for our constitution and regulation to contest. If they do, we'll give them to the go ahead to move to the next day. And hopefully, when Congress Day comes, what will happen and... We will, we will elect our leaders. Mm, do we have a date? We have, do we, we have, have a date yet? We have announced a date of 20th October. This date will not be possible because the venue we intend using is unavailable on that day. So a new date will be announced after we conclude the consultative process. Mm. And uh, which region are you hoping to hold this event? It will surely be in Greater Accra. Okay. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Kofi Adams is national organizer of the National Democratic Congress. You're watching News Desk with me, Bernice Abubedu. There's more news shortly to stay.